What's up foodies? Thank you so much for all the love you guys give me. I really 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 appreciate that. Keep liking, sharing and subscribing. Now for today's recipe, we're actually going to be making Kashmiri Damalu. My sister loves this recipe and this is a, a request from her. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get to making the recipe for you. Alright guys, so for making the uh, Kashmiri Damalu, what we need to do is we're going to use the baby potatoes like that. Now, um, what I have done, there are two ways people make it. Uh, a lot of people boil the baby potato before they start cooking. I'm not gonna boil my potato, but what I've done, it's uh, once I actually go ahead and peel the potatoes off, I, I went ahead and left it in, the, in a warm water for about 10 minutes or so. Um, and after that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a fork and we're gonna go ahead and prick holes in them. Now the reason for pricking the holes in them, it's uh, when we deep fry the, the potatoes, uh, what it would do is it would cook the potatoes completely. So all you're gonna do is just use a fork, take your potato and just prick holes like halfway through in the potato. And you wanna make sure that you prick holes on the all sides, get about good five or six uh, prick in there and um, you're gonna be done. All right guys, so after pricking our potatoes, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and deep fry them and we're gonna golden fry them. But uh, to make it golden fry and crispy, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put our oil on a medium heat and after add, uh, leaving it on the medium heat, we're gonna add our whole potato into the oil. So we're just gonna start adding the potatoes in there. So I'm adding all of my potatoes on medium heat. And then I'm going to go ahead and let them sit in there for about um, 10 to 15 minutes until it starts getting uh, getting uh, golden brown. Alright guys, so while our potatoes are getting golden brown and uh, getting deep fried in there and becoming crispy, what we're going to do is we're going to make some uh, garam masala for for the spices. So I have a pan that I'm getting, um, getting it warm. And in the warm pan, I'm going to go ahead and uh, dry roast our masalas in there. So I'm using um, the coriander seed, which is whole dhania. I'm using a lot of funnel seeds, um, which is uh, varyali. Now with that, I'm using a little bit of clove. I'm using two black cardamom, about four to five um, green cardamom. And then with that, I have um, just a little bit of clove and a little bit of black pepper. Uh, with that, I'm going to toss in a, a bay leaf and we're going to go ahead and dry roast this masala and we're going to go ahead and make a fine powder out of that. Alright guys, so I've made a fine powder out of the dry roast that we did. Now what we're going to do, I have some yogurt that's in here um, in a bowl. Now in the bowl, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add all the masala that we dry roasted. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and add some Kashmiri chili with it. Okay, so I'm adding about one big spoon or two small tablespoon of Kashmiri chili and after adding that we're just going to go ahead and whisk this. Uh, we're going to whisk our yogurt and we're going to go to the next step. Alright guys, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, in the same pan we're going to go ahead and use some uh, some sarsoka tail. Sarsoka tail is uh, mustard oil. Uh, now in mustard oil, what we're going to do is we're going to add just a little bit of jeera. And with jeera, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of hing. Now once we let the jeera crackle, um, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and uh, actually at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and add the same bay leaf that we were using while we were dry roasting the masala. And once the jeera crackles, I'm going to start adding the remaining of the ingredients. Alright guys, so once our jira has done crackling, what we're going to do, it's, uh, this is a twist that I add to my uh, Kashmiri Damalu. Um, you can skip this step if you want to, but what I'm going to do, it's I'm going to go ahead and add uh, um, just uh, roughly chopped onions in there, roughly sliced onion in there. And with that, I'm going to add about one spoon of uh, ginger paste and about one and a half spoon of garlic paste. And we're going to let it... Uh, just fry it a little bit until the aroma of the rawness is gone and then we'll start adding the remaining of the spices. Alright guys, so at this point what we're going to do is we're going to start adding our masalas to it 
and this is a very simple recipe so all we're adding is just a little bit of haldi and with the haldi again i'm going to use kashmiri chili again uh, kashmiri chili as you know it's not spicy it just gives that color to it so just about um, three tablespoons or three uh, yeah three tablespoons of kashmiri chili in there we're going to cook the chili just a little bit so it doesn't have the rawness and then we're going to start adding our yogurt to it all right guys so as soon as our kashmiri chili is cooked a little bit what we're going to do is we're going to turn the heat to very low and at that point we're going to add just a little bit of water to it now the reason for adding some water it's because we're going to start adding our yogurt to it now um, now after adding the water and having the heat on low what we want to do is we want to go ahead and add the yogurt in there and once we add the yogurt we're going to make sure that we keep stirring it so the yogurt doesn't lose its taste all right guys so as you can see our gravy is cooked you can see the the oil coming separate from the gravy now at this point what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add just a little bit of kasuri methi um, with that we're going to now go ahead and add salt and we're going to add salt to taste now again i'm cooking for about five to six people so i'm adding salt based on that and we don't need to add uh, <clears throat> we don't need to add any wine just because we're already cooking with yogurt so um, it's already going to be a little bit sour all right guys so now at this point what we're going to do is uh, as you can see my potatoes are nice and golden brown now i'm going to go ahead and turn the oil off and as as the potatoes are hot i'm going to go ahead and start adding them to my gravy so all i'm going to do is just take the hot potatoes out of the oil and as they are hot we're going to go ahead and add them to the gravy now reason for adding hot potatoes to the gravy it's since we already deep fried the potato if you want the gravy to mix with the potato you need the potato to be warm and then it would start adding the gravy a little bit um, uh, inside the potato as well now once i do that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of water and with that i'm gonna add just a little bit of cream and I'm gonna cover it up and let it uh, cook for like on a let it cook for about two to three minutes on a very low heat. All right, guys. So after letting it cook for a few minutes um, with the lid on, um, as you can see, all our um, our potatoes are are very well mixed up in the gravy. Also, I have had uh, creamer added to it, water added to it. Now the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add some freshly chopped dhania. give it a good mix and then our dish is 100% ready all right guys so as you know the food is ready i'm not waiting on you keep liking sharing subscribing thank you so much for all the love you guys give me food is ready not waiting on you until next time i'll see you soon thank you